welcome back. Today we'll be making ammonium perchlorate from potassium perchlorate and ammonium sulfate. It's a double displacement reaction. And we'll be extracting the ammonium perchlorate with methanol, since it's quite soluble, and the potassium sulfate is not. So let's first get these both into solution. First route I was looking at was um, with the use of um, perchloric acid by um, distilling uh, potassium perchlorate and sulfuric acid. Um, the more I've been reading about it, the uh, less confident I feel about this. So this is a much safer way to do it. Uh, potassium perchlorate is not very soluble and I'll probably need about 13 milliliters of water at 100 degrees. As for the Potassium sulfate is quite soluble and I'll need a little bit more than one milliliter of water. It's good practice to use as little solvent as possible. We'll see how it goes. I've never done this before, so. All right, so the beaker on the left has uh, potassium perchlorate with about 15 milliliters of water. On the right is the ammonium sulfate, roughly two milliliters of water. So let's see if we can get it into solution. Okay, so the ammonium sulfate has the dissolved, so I'll get that off the hot plate, it will probably stay in solution. This is like watching paint dry. I added five more milliliters of water, so it's just hard to get this stuff into solution. Alright, so I ended up using about 30 milliliters of water, it just wouldn't dissolve, so um, it's now time to add the uh, ammonium sulfate. Right now we'll boil down the solution until, uh, until we get crystallization and then we extract uh, the uh, ammonium perchlorate with methanol. Okay, so this beaker is a little larger and uh, it will promote evaporation. And as you can see the solution is already getting a bit turbid and that's uh, solids coming out. All right, so well, we are almost there. I'm not gonna boil it down further because um, I don't wanna <laughs> promote any reaction between the perchlorate and uh, potential organics or uh, the Teflon. So um, we'll heat up about 50 mils of uh, methanol. And I uh, already set up a funnel right there. Some filtration paper and what you want to do is uh, wet the paper with a little bit of the solvent okay so I will heat up the, the methanol all right so the methanol is boiling let's get it off the hot plate we'll get our sludge ammonium perchlorate and potassium sulfate. Next we add the methanol. Okay, we don't want it to boil too much. But we do want to dissolve the ammonium perchlorate. So give it a bit of stir. Now we use the beaker that we used for the methanol as a receiver for the filtration. If you want to do this correctly, you should 
probably wash it out in, in a couple batches of uh, methanol to get an optimal yield. But since this is uh, just a demonstration, I will not bother. Um, next, we're going to set up a bath to uh, evaporate the methanol because I do not like doing it on a hot plate directly. All right, so I transferred the beaker to uh, to a bath with boiling water, so hopefully it will evaporate quickly. It's just water. It's uh, it's ground water, so it's uh, has a lot of a lot of rust in it, so that's why it's such a nasty color. It's just this weird phenomenon where substances can be above their boiling point and, and yet not boiling. Um, and even with the slightest disruption, they will violently boil. That's what you what you witnessed, especially with new glassware. If it wasn't for this video, I'll probably um, just put the uh, beaker in the, in a warm place and perhaps in the sun uh, to uh, to evaporate the, uh, the methanol. And while doing this, I uh, I start to wonder if this reaction would be possible and in, in methanol as a starting solvent would be an interesting thing to uh, to try. All right, it seems to be working. Uh, we're getting a white solid and. Uh, beaker that contains a methanol solution so it's almost dry I'll just wait a couple more minutes and uh, we'll get a try to transfer it to, uh, to the desiccator the yield already looks uh, tiny but uh, that was to be expected Right, so we got it dry. This is the end result. So let's weigh it, and uh, I might do some tests later. So that's 0.7 grams of ammonium perchlorate. I will calculate the yield, and um, well, let's see how bad I did. All right, so 0.7 grams is. Uh, 70% yield should be uh, around one roughly so it's not too bad actually and there was quite some mechanical loss to transfers and I had to scrape it out of the beaker so um, if you scale this up it will probably be a lot better let's see if we can uh, what happens when we heat it on the uh, aluminum foil is a tiny bit of uh, ammonium perchlorate and uh, we'll see what happens when we heat it Not very spectacular. That does, however, show that it's uh, ammonium perchlorate. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you again soon.